I love neutrinos. So I love neutrinos. I love neutrinos. I love neutrinos. I love neutrinos because they're the real oddballs of the particle world. Uh, they interact very rarely and yet they're everywhere. They're all over around us. We don't notice them. Hundreds of billions of neutrinos are crossing my hand in this very moment. Neutrinos are this, this really cool thing that we've known about for decades and yet we know so little about them. Every time we think we have an understanding of these teeny tiny particles, nature throws in a kink. And even though that sounds like a bad thing, it's actually really great because trying to study them and understand them is kind of like an ultimate puzzle game. We were surprised to find out that there was more than one type of neutrino. We were surprised to find out that neutrinos could change from one type to another all by themselves. Imagine you start with a cup of strawberry ice cream and halfway through it turns into chocolate or or it turns into vanilla after some time, which would be amazing. They're very tiny particles that allow you to discover uh, marvelous things of the universe. And it's challenging and sometimes frustrating. But for me, that's part of what makes them so interesting. Uh, the fact that uh, somehow nature seems to be trying to hide something uh, makes them so hard to study. We have detectors for neutrinos at the South Pole, deep under the ocean, deep in mines uh, and close up against reactors. We get to do some really odd things in order to understand this fundamental component of the particle physics world. And now we're on the trail of a big new possible surprise. A surprise that may help answer what happened about 14 billion years ago in that Big Bang. You know, it's really a huge mystery why we're all made of matter and not antimatter, and the properties of neutrinos are important for understanding that. So what I love about neutrinos is that, first of all, they're really hard to study, and that makes them a great challenge. Uh, but on the other hand, the payoff is very, very big. I really enjoy having the opportunity to work on a project where we have all these people from all over the world who are the best and brightest at what they do, and we're trying to understand this particle that we can't see, feel, or touch. I love neutrinos because they fill me with wonder, and I can't wait to see what we will discover next. Mm -hmm.